that I've, I've been called shill, and it's like, you know, fuck off. Hello and welcome to the Red Gaze. Today we're going to cover Christian Harloff's uh, epic breakdown on Collider Live. Um, because he didn't get invited to Galaxy's Edge <laughs> to review the park. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to thank uh, Drunk3PO and Black Angus for turning me on to this. Um, I know Angus always likes to get the viewpoints of uh, fellow YouTubers, and I'm happy to do it. Um, I'm going to link uh, both of their videos on this subject in the description below. But uh, yeah, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and go uh, clip by clip here and uh, just throw in some commentary in between so you can witness uh, the rant and we'll break it down and discuss as we go. They said uh, they brought they're giving away tickets to Disneyland and Galaxy's Edge. And mm -hmm. today I walked in and Roke was like, oh, here we're going to talk about Jedi Council. Was like, do you want to leave with this or Galaxy's Edge? I go, we're not talking about Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Not talking about it. I go, you know what I'm going to talk about Galaxy's Edge? In two years when I go. Yeah. Because am I a little butt hurt? No, I'm a lot butthurt. Yeah. Now, the reason Christian is a lot butthurt is because certain members from Collider were invited. He was not. And, um, I mean, from a, from a certain perspective, his perspective, he might see this as a form of punishment, being as he is one of very few Collider contributors who have actually been critical of Disney's Star Wars. So, I guess from his perspective, he's thinking, well, I've been... You know, I haven't been that critical, and I've been really uh, helping you guys out for a while now, <laughs> for years, uh, trying to promote Star Wars and uh, keep people interested in this new, you know, crap that they've been shoveling out. And here he is. It's time to see Galaxy's Edge, and we have all these photos of the biggest shills on Earth um, having fun, enjoying themselves. And uh, where's Christian? Christian is stuck in the studio being asked to cover someone else's coverage <laughs> of Galaxy's Edge. Uh, so, yeah, I can see why he might be a little pissed off. Yes to what I said. You asked to go and they said no. Well, originally, originally I did not. There was just no invite that came for all the media. And then I just followed up once and said, hey, so yes. But, but did you get a response? No. And so then I said, I said, I'm not following up again, but I also said that I just don't, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go as a fan and I'm going to enjoy it and I want to go, but I'm not going to promote it anymore. What I'm you... not going to talk about it. So it would appear that Christian made the request to go. He asked, um, you know, I guess in a, I don't know how exactly these uh, behind the scenes invitations uh, are done exactly, but he put out. You know, the feelers basically saying, hey, Christian Harloff here at Collider, I would like to go see Galaxy's Edge. And uh, no response. Crickets. So it would appear all of this caught up to him when he was asked to cover uh, Galaxy's Edge while not being able to go there and review it himself. And as you'll see a little bit later, I don't think he's too friendly with the producers on the show um, as they kind of get into it. And I think maybe he's just fed up and had enough. Yeah. Because there's another reason. I don't want to report on other people's reports. I don't want to say like, well, Jermaine Lucier, who goes to fucking everything, he get he 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 reported on this, so but I'm gonna you, go off his report. If no, you had no been thanks. invited and you guess what? I'm not. I've been busting my fucking ass being a Star Wars fan for five fucking years. I feel on the, the same show. way. Now this is the point where I start to take a little bit of issue uh, with what Christian is saying. Uh, as you just heard him say, I've been busting my ass for five years being a Star Wars fan on the show. And uh, basically, you know, this is my thanks. This is what I get. This is my reward. Uh, no reward. But, um, I mean, you, you don't bust your ass being a Star Wars fan. You're a Star Wars fan because you love Star Wars. Now, if you think you've been doing your part, you know, if you haven't been too critical and uh, you feel like you're entitled to this, you deserve this because of all the positive coverage you've had of Disney Star Wars. Well, um... Sorry to tell you, buddy, but welcome to it. This is the reward you get. If you're a little bit critical, that's a little bit too much. And, um, yeah, your reward is a big fuck you. So, if you want to shill for Star Wars, 
uh, you're going to have to show a little harder, I guess, because you haven't earned your place at Galaxy's Edge. And, um, yeah, that's just unfortunate to hear come out of his mouth because we, we all do this for the love of Star Wars and we expect the same out of these people as well. But as you're about to hear, Collider feels a little bit differently. Uh, the producers at Collider feel that you're just going to shut up and do what you're told. Otherwise, we're going to have problems, Christian. You're going to cover this whether you like it or not. And if you choose not to, well, uh, don't expect many favors in the future, buddy. You know, that doesn't come right out of their mouth, but it's it's very much implied. And it's, uh, uh, this producer just rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, a lot of people at Collider rub me the wrong way, but this guy, wow. Um, yeah, he seems like a real asshole. So uh, take a look and uh, judge for yourself. You're going to. I don't want to. Uh, no, because it's our coverage. Uh, Haley's got a lot of really good interviews with Imagineers uh, that she's going to be posting. So first on. of all, first of all, I don't want you to do that on the air. You can call me in afterwards. No, no, so no, you no. know what? So then someone else hosts the show today. Someone else hosts the show today. You, you don't have. It's the second time you've done this. The first time you've done this, you burst in the door. You burst in the door, and screamed at us because we played the YouTube video no, and we no, didn't no, no. know it. I, I, that was I, the first time. I went in. I went in to let you know that you have been taken off the air already. I know, but you screamed at us. For I didn't it. scream. If you want to do this on the air, I'll do it on the air. I would much no, no, rather no, you, you did. You 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 started this on the air. You brought. You, you you started the show by saying you're not going to talk about it on Jedi Council, which I, is your show, okay. but you're not the producer of it. And I am was, actually. I am actually. You're actually I, not. I, yes, I am. I'm actually. That was the deal I made with Fernandez. No, I'm also actually. Uh, no, just the same way producer. you didn't know. The same way you did. The same way you didn't know that I was the fucking head of development at one point, a head of content. Where you're like, oh, I think you're just head of development. I walk in to Fernandez. I go, can you clear it up? Content and development, to which now is not the case. You are, and I get it. But I, first of all, if you want to do exactly. this on the air, we do it on the air. Yeah. But I am not. But I am absolutely not talking about it today. You can have Roca host it. How about that? I mean, if you don't want to host the show, because I don't want to. You, oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't get to go last night. You're I think it's quite apparent here that these two have had uh, many issues before. I couldn't really say because I stopped watching Collider uh, shortly before. Um, the launch of The Last Jedi, just because, uh, you know, they were it was all positive all the time. Everything Star Wars is great. Uh, everyone being, you know, ridiculed, all the fans being ridiculed for not liking what they're seeing. Uh, Collider jumped right on board with the attacks on them. And, uh, yeah, I haven't watched them for some time, for a number of years, just because of what they turned into. I mean, it's, it's shilling at its finest. But, um... Yeah, it's very obvious that these two have had their issues, and uh, I think Harloff's kind of had it with this guy in particular. But, uh, oh, I'm so sorry you didn't get to go last night. Like, what a what a dick. On the air, no less. Like, knowing that, that there's a bunch, there's a lot of people watching this. You know, they get thousands and thousands of views, even live. And, um, yeah, just, I, I mean, they're both b behaving unprofessionally. But uh, this guy in particular, just, uh, I don't know, there's something about him. <laughs> just the tone that he uses, uh, the talking down. Like, Harloff seems like a normal guy. This guy is, is soy through and through, and you can just see it. I mean, look at that fucking hat. But uh, anyway, so that's kind of my take. Um, you know, Harloff is butthurt, admittedly, that he wasn't invited to Galaxy's Edge, and he's now asked to cover somebody else's coverage of something that he feels he should have attended himself. And uh, this jerk here is just telling him, no, you're going to cover what we say you cover because we're Collider. And uh, yeah, you work for us, buddy. I'm so sorry you didn't get to go last night. Um, yeah, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me your take. And uh, thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you on the flip. Peace. And it's like, you know, fuck off.